Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Nunde, and I hope I find you all well wherever you are. It's a chilly weather in Johannesburg, it's been rainy, it's been this cold since yesterday. Uh, I want us to have some frank talk because I think there is some misunderstandings uh, arising from our coverage of certain events and uh, my personal uh, opinion pieces where I've been coming online uh, or recording pre-recorded videos like this one especially on the political situation back home in Zimbabwe uh, I'm doing this because there seems to be a lot of misunderstanding as to which side of the political divide between the two parties that are there fighting for recognition fighting for power in Zimbabwe is concerned that is the mainstream political parties that are there uh, Triple C uh, which is the mainstream opposition uh, and you know that Triple C have got their own uh, internal uh, fights that they are engaged in and ZANU PF on the other hand which is the ruling party so we have posted certain videos some of them news items and others opinion pieces where I have given disclaimers that uh, what I'm saying uh, in those particular videos are not the channel's views but my personal views and they come uh, as opinion pieces uh, where I'll be airing my own views based on my understanding of Zimbabwean politics, based on my experiences covering Zimbabwean politics and based on my experience uh, and my wishes as a Zimbabwean citizen. But it seems that because of the political toxicity that is existing in Zimbabwe, there are certain people that become offended by the way that uh, I present some of those opinions and by the way that we cover uh, political parties. You will agree that we have, since last year, been having uh, shows in which we hold interviews with political party leaders, political party representatives here in South Africa. And recently, that is as far as last month, we did have uh, a, a seminar where we went, uh, we invited people from different political parties with representatives from ZAPU, from the E-movement, from Triple C, from uh, a number of other political parties. Uh, we didn't have ZANU-PF. We had promised that they would come, but they, come, they came uh, a little bit late. Uh, we also had the Zimbabwe Communist Party. Uh, let me forget. Uh, so ZANU-PF members had promised to come, but they arrived uh, a few hours after that seminar. The seminar was about the Zimbabwean elections, what transpired there, why we got the outcome that we got. Uh, we also have had some coverage, uh, some coverage where, uh, for example, we covered last week uh, on Tuesday uh, a protest by Triple C in Pretoria where they were protesting against what they termed stolen elections, uh, which they say were stolen by ZANU PF. We covered that and edited. We took videos and we posted them. Then the following day, we covered an anti-sanctions match by organized by ZANU PF and also uh, with support from the Pan-Africanist Congress, that is a South African party. And we covered them. They were protesting at the, Zimba at the American embassy in Pretoria. So our coverage of those events uh, have should have proved that we cover every political party that has an event an event and uh invites us we didn't express our opinions in those we held interviews with people that were organizing those events we held interviews with members of those political parties with leaders of those political parties during those uh, protests uh, and this should show that uh, we stick uh, to our uh, aims and vision as a channel that seeks to break the media polarity that is in Zimbabwe. For those that have been following Zimbabwean media, you would know that the so-called state media, that is the public media, uh, that is uh, including uh, newspapers that are in the Zim papers table, those are your Herald, your Chronicle, your Sunday News, and uh, your Sunday Mail. Ah fighting in the corner of Sanu PF. And then we have on the other side, 
uh, the so-called private media uh, who are fighting on the side of the opposition. And we have said we are creating this channel as an alternative to both sides uh, of the divide because we cannot have uh, unfair media coverage on either uh, of uh, the, 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 the media uh, spectrum in Zimbabwe. And then we also come up with a channel which will also play into this polarity. So we stated when we created this channel uh, and when we became serious about it two years ago that we are not going to be used by any political party for its own propaganda. We stated that we do not support any particular political party, but we are going to give uh, the people who are going to feed on this news that we give them fair coverage. Because those who have been in Zimbabwe will know that for you to be able to get uh, some bit of fair coverage of the same event where there is politics involved, you need to read both uh, uh, sides of, of, of the divide. You need to, if you read the Herald, you then have to balance with one of the so-called private uh, or independent newspapers for you to be able to say, okay, let me dilute this or let me come up with the average. This is not what we want. When we go to cover ZANU-PF events, we'll give you the news as it is, just as we've been doing all along, just as we did again uh, last week on Wednesday. When we go cover Triple C events, will give you the news undiluted. That is why you will realize that we've been giving, giving you raw footage so that you are able to get the gist of what the event was all about as if you were there at the event. Because when we start to uh, edit some of these uh, videos, we may lose some of these things in translation. So we give you raw coverage where uh, resources allow, we'll be covering those live and direct so that you get to be where the event was and the interpretation is going to come from you not from us we don't want to dilute what these people uh, are saying or what they want to portray or they want to broadcast to the people this is our aim as a youtube channel because we don't want to be found wanting whereby we have uh, at some point given interpretations that are not what the intended uh, message uh, encoder needed to be decoded. So we want to give you the message as it is and the interpretation is going to come out of your own understanding of such messages. We have kept uh, that side of the bargain and we hoped that people were going to understand that we are not here to fight anybody's personal wars. We are not here to fight any particular party's propaganda wars. And we are not here to fight for any political individual. Because as we have said, we have realized that Zimbabwean politicians will always behave alike. They don't care about the people. All they care about is them attaining power. So we have also uh, provided coverage uh, of the Zimbabwean elections. We have provided coverage of the ongoing fights between members of Triple C. And this is where we have been accused a number of times of taking this or that side. And we believe that this, this has been going on for some time and it's been unfair. We have been called a ZANU-PF propaganda channel. We called a ZANU-PF channel and people who have accused us of that have not been able to substantiate that because when we call people to the studio, we have asked them critical questions. We have prodded them to provide certain answers regardless of whether they are ZANU-PF or, or Triple C because our service is not to any political party or politician or political ideology, but it's been and will always remain to our viewers and subs subscribers, we are not here to mislead people. We are not here to play into the hands of certain politicians. And this is why we have been insulted. Unfortunately, I will have to be frank with you, most of the insults have come from supporters of the so-called alternative, of the so-called opposition, that is Triple C. We have not yet received any insult from ZANU-PF, Yes, we have received uh, some complaints from them that we have been hurt on their officials that have come to the channel. We have received complaints that we have been giving so much coverage to Triple C. But we don't care about those because 
We are not here, as I have said, to take any side. Whoever invites us to their event, we are going to be there. We are going to cover them and we are going to do that fairly. And whenever we give or whenever I give my personal opinion, I will always state that it is, it is my personal opinion as I have always done. And my personal opinion should not be conflated with those uh, or the views of the channel because this channel is there to provide coverage. It's there to provide fair coverage to everyone, not only politicians. So why have we been insulted? First and foremost, we were insulted for broadcasting that based on the results that we have been given during the election period, ZANU-PF would be announced as the winner. That came to pass. After we were insulted, ZANU-PF was announced as the winner of the 2023 elections. We stated that there were gross irregularities in the handling of the elections by the Zimbabwean Electoral Commission. We broadcast the uh, availability of FAS, so-called uh, exit polls at polling stations, we came clearly and stated that there was voter intimidation, but still people came and insulted us for stating that from what we have, ZANU-PF would be announced as the winner. We also stated that President Emerson Mnangakwa was going to be announced as the winner of the presidential poll but people still insulted us as if we are the ones who voted or were the ones who announced these results or counted them after the elections when many of these so-called independent newspapers and journalists came to you to claim that there would be a fresh election when they claimed that there was going to be uh, an extraordinary summit on Zimbabwe, your darlings and whom you had believed who are taking advantage of your gullibility, of your false hope, of your misplaced belief in the opposition and in them came to you to mislead you. We came straight against the grain and stated that there was not going to be any fresh election in Zimbabwe. That is the SATAC uh, election observer mission and the SADC as a, a, a regional body did not have power in their hands to force Zimbabwe to go into an election rerun. You insulted us. Your comments are still there. You called us names. But it came to pass there has been no election or no fresh election in Zimbabwe. There is not going to be any. And we maintain that because we are here not to please you by lies but to tell you the facts as they are. We are not going to stop. We are not going to be fenced by your insults, but it is up to you whether or not you want to be misled by lies, whether you, you want to be pleased with lies. But we're going to tell you the truth. When Emerson Nangaka was uh, inaugurated as the president of Zimbabwe for the second term, you insulted us again for calling him Zimbabwean president, despite the fact that he had been inaugurated with no uh, disturbances from you, with no court action from you. We stated that the only way that Triple C could force a fresh election in Zimbabwe was them going to the courts with evidence that indeed they had won the election as they claimed. You insulted us again. You said we wanted to force Triple C to go to the courts when knowing very well that Zimbabwean courts are captured by Zanu PF. Yes, we may be of the belief that the Zimbabwean courts do have this uh, kind of political influence from Zanu PF, but the law in Zimbabwe is very clear. And Triple C are part of the lawmakers. They are the ones who are supposed to be fighting for you uh, in that regard. All that we do is to give you the facts. And when we give you these facts, we will be not unmindful of the fact that there might be political influence on our courts, but we'll be stating clearly what is supposed to be done. Your leader, Nelson Chamisa, held press conferences where he claimed that 
Emerson Nangakwa, oh, even in his rallies, where he claimed that President Emerson Nangakwa would not have any room for rigging, we stated that he was running ahead of the story, he was jumping the gun, and he was giving you false hope. And he was even killing his own uh, endeavors by claiming that there would be no rigging, there would be no room for rigging, because he would be the same person to come back and tell you that he has been raped. You didn't listen to us. You agreed with him that there was this monthly application that there was not going to be any room for Emerson Nangakwa to rig. We believed you. We agreed with you. But we stated the follies of that because it would mean that whoever is announced as the winner is the actual winner. Come 23 and 24 August, you lose the election. We tell you that you are going to lose the election. You listen to Nelson Chamisa going out in the open, holding press conferences, claiming that he has the 11s They put him in the lead. They state that he has won the elections. We told you that Triple C doesn't have all the V11s, that Triple C failed to deploy polling agents in 1,700 polling stations in Zimbabwe, and that in those polling stations, those constituencies are ZANU-PF strongholds. You said we are lying. Come seven days after the elections, Nelson Chamisa, having threatened court action, keeps quiet. He then tells you that he's not going to the courts because the courts are captured. They hold press conferences stating that despite the fact that they had promised to go to court, they won't because the courts are captured. You don't hold them to account for having lied to you that they have the V11s, that they're going to court, and they're going to prove that they've won the elections. What do they do? They lie again to you and say, the SAT election observer mission has declared the Zimbabwean election null and void. We come to you. We tell you that the SAT election observer mission had not declared Zimbabwean elections null and void. We tell you that they don't have the power to declare such. We even tell you that not even the SATAC has the power to force Zimbabwe into an election unless and until a Zimbabwean court has declared the elections null and void. You insulted us. You said the SATAC had, had declared the Zimbabwean elections null and void. And then what we do? We bring you the SATAC election observer missions report which clearly stated that some and i'll state this clearly some aspects of the zimbabwean elections did not meet the sad protocol did not meet the requirements of the zimbabwean, of the zimbabwean uh, constitution the zimbabwean electoral act as well but if they say some it means there are aspects of the zimbabwean election which did meet. So this dilutes the mission's own report about gross irregularities because they say it is some aspects, which means there are other aspects. So they didn't state if those some in brackets or in quotes warranted enough for Triple C to claim rigging. They didn't state that. Because these have to be weighed in some scale. But they didn't state that. And what do they state? They give remedial action. They give triple C pointers as to what they should do to air their grievances. They said, whatever grievances are given should be channeled through the legal channels. And we state this to you. You still insult us. Because you don't want to read, we even gave you links to the SAT election observer missions report so that you read and understand on your own, away from the propaganda that your leaders are giving you as they uh, run headlessly all over the place, all over the shop. 
and you still insulted us. That report is something of public knowledge. It's publicly available for you to read. But because you hate reading, but because you are lazy to read, you come and insult us unfairly. We then stated again that there will be no such extraordinary meeting to force Zimbabwe into an election. You then give us a false hope that you are giving yourselves among your, 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 your cabals that uh, in Malawi, the Sadka forced uh, the country to go to a fresh elections. And we tell you that no, there was never such. What happened in Malawi was that those with grievances went to courts in Malawi and the Malawi court forced a fresh election by declaring, based on the evidence that was presented to them, uh, it ordered fresh elections because it nullified the earlier round of voting. That was the court in Malawi, not the SAT or the SAT election observer mission or the African Union. So we gave you all this evidence. We gave you all this information so that you would know and move away from this false uh, cocoon of hope that your leaders or misleaders have always been giving you. We all know that our opposition is full of liars. And I'm going to be very clear with that. Your leaders are liars. And the main liar in all this is your own president, your darling Nelson Chamisa. He's number one in lying to the people. There is no way that the SATAC election observer mission declared Zimbabwean elections null and void. There is no way they can do that. They did the best that they could have done. They stated the gross irregularities and they even gave your leader, your darling, ways of finding uh, recourse. He ignored that. Not because he won the election. And he lies to you that the one he won the election, you are still declaring him the president. Despite the fact that he failed to prove that he won the election. Because you don't win the elections because the other guy played foul. But you win the elections because you have evidence that you outpolled your opponent. And in this instance, Triple C doesn't have any evidence because they don't have any V11s. They failed to deploy election uh, or polling agents in 1,700 polling stations. They don't have that evidence. And then uh, they still claim that they won the elections despite that. And you believe them because they are taking you for fools. They know that you are gullible. You are going to believe them, whatever they say. You are going to follow whatever they do. Right now, they are fighting among themselves. One of their own is fighting them, claiming tribalism in your own party. You don't want to believe that Chamisa can be found wanting. You are fighting with them. We are not going to take sides. We are going to interview this singer as a Chabangukai, and we are going to bring him on the channel. You are going to insult him, we know, but we are going to stick to our mandate of providing news unfiltered. Then again, you still believed in your darlings in the independent media, in the so-called private media, who lie to you because they want to get views from you. They want to get uh, your likes. They want to get uh, readership from you. So they will continue to lie to you because you want to be lied to. Otherwise, you insult people. They tell you that there's going to be a sad extraordinary meeting on Zimbabwe, blah, 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 blah. We tell you that there's not going to be such. And you insult us again. But you know what? We don't care. For those who want real news, we are the channel. For those who want to be lied to, I'm sorry. We are not going to be like that. Those who follow me personally, those who have followed my journalism, those who have followed my posts on Facebook will tell you that I'm not one of those journalists with prizes. I don't have a prize. I've been hated by every political party in Zimbabwe. I've been accused uh, of being this or that political party. It doesn't faze me. You can call me ZANU PF, you can call me Triple C, you can call me ZAPU, you can call me MRP. I don't care. What this channel is going to do. It is going to give you news as it is, regardless of whether you like it or not, regardless of whether it soothes you or not. We don't care. All that we care about 
are those of you who come here because they know that we are going to give them the correct information that come here because they know and trust in our abilities to deliver exclusive news, real news based on facts. If you want to be lied to, follow those that will continue to lie to you. But we know for a fact that when it has come to a time where you want real news, you will come here. You will insult us, but we're still going to give you correct information. We don't like some of the stuff that we give you. I have to state that. We also wish uh, it could turn otherwise. But because we're not players in this propaganda war, we are still going to give you correct information. So Zimbabweans, if you want to plan for any election, plan around uh, the next election, which is going to be in 2028. Uh, for those who are following the Triple C uh, implosion, the court case involving Sengezo Chabang is going to sit on Thursday. That is the day after tomorrow. We are also going to give you that information correctly and factually we are not going to play into the hands of those who want to take advantage of your false hope to then say that ah the elections there'll be fresh elections ah blah 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 there will not be fresh elections in zimbabwe that horse is bolted it's too late for you to close the uh, the, 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 the the gate but continue to hold your list as accountable don't allow them to lie to you because they are taking you for fools. Thank you very much. This is what we thought we have to state clearly for you. Well, this is what we wanted to put straight to you. This is the record that we wanted to set straight. Thank you very much. For those who love the truth, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. Thank you.